Michigan State has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. Third and six. Ball on their own 29. Knocked out of bounds at the 32-yard line. And certainly, they don't have the return on here. And he just got drilled. Michigan State's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000 yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That makes it second and 10. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 43. He scrambles. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's taken down at the 44. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we go, Here we go. And he's tackled at about the 27-yard line. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Go ahead, two. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. He's taken down at the 14. From the 14-yard line, it's first down. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. He's tackled at the one. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. Tackle made around the one-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short gain. Nice stop by the junior. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Red two. Touchdown, Michigan State. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. 
he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 70-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Spartans are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. Fires out to his wideout. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 35. at the 48. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. Fires that quickly, incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. He's at the 30, makes it to the 24. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Nice play to set up first and goal. Slings it out and it gets tipped. His receiver didn't have much of a chance to make a play on the ball, so credit the defender for breaking it up. It's second and goal. Ball on the six. Hey, we're going Mike 40, Mike 40. Yeah. Easy, easy, easy. Big dog. <laughs> Brought down right around the four-yard line. That's good. Two yards. Tight end, Mike. That makes it third and goal. Yeah, check. Hey, Mike. Hey, no, no, let's just Mike right here. Check, check. Check, check. Five. Check, check. Check, check. Five. Check, check. Five. And down he goes at the three. Not much there for the tailback on the option. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Oregon kicked this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. The Spartans offense, I thought, answered the doubters big time with an impressive opening drive, and they got on the board first. Yeah, when you're in a hostile environment, you want to play with a little bit of a chip on your shoulder and just show people that you're not intimidated by the environment. They sure did that that first time out. Michigan State holds a four-point lead. They'll drop in for a loss. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Dog four. And he gets a yard on the run. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. Quick 
throw. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. Number 14 makes the tackle at the 31 yard line. First down. We played one. The Spartans lead 7 3. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're going to fight 48 right now. Let's go. He fights forward to about the 40. That brings up second and eight. From the 40 yard line. Second down. I got it. Red two. Green. Kill, kill. Panther two. And he just gets rid of it. Michigan State is up four. They bring the quarterback down. Fourth and long here after the sack. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Keeps it. They'll bring him down around the 32-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 35-yard line. for the halfback on that option play. No game. That makes it third and seven. Get down, get down. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Mike 40, Mike 40. Here we go. Thunder. 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 You know, great effort here by the ball carrier, but I think they need to pass in that situation most of the time. Fourth down. And they're coming after this punter. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's taken down at the 25. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Michigan State is up by four. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. Number three makes the tackle at the 37 yard line. From their own 37 yard line. First down. Here we go, D. Black Sonic! Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. He's going to try and scramble. Excellent open field tackle. He scrambles and picks up five. That'll make it third and five. Third and five situation. Ball on the 42 yard line. Black five, black five. Throws out on the screen through his hands. 
Brad, I love the way the defense is flying around right now and hitting people. This looked like an easy catch for the running back out of the backfield, but a big hit right here could really start to create some energy for the defense. He really got a hold of that one. Well, the coverage team did their job and made the play. Let's see if the defense can continue the effort. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Three yards there on the option keeper. That makes it second and eight. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. Third down. Let's go! Easy, easy, easy. Ding-ray! Ding-ray! Now he's scrambling. And he's level at the 25-yard line. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Loss of three. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. And he throws it away. that to a guy who was well covered and it almost got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky. That ball was only tipped. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Oh, excellent punt. Whoa, he just took a licking. The Spartans game plan is just what we've been seeing through a couple of quarters now. Give this guy the football and let him ram it down the defense's throat and just keep giving it to him until he gets tired or the defense gets tired. Well, the offensive line, I also think, deserves a lot of credit. You know, the, the back is the star. He's been getting most of the yards and most of the attention, but he's not doing it alone. The offensive line's paving the way and opening this thing up, and, and the running back's taking advantage of it. They've had a great first half. And he is drilled at the 45. Call it a game of 19 yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Michigan State holds a four-point lead. He passes it. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. That makes it first and 10. them hard at the 17-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Michigan State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. So they complete that for about seven yards, and they'll pick up a first down. This quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive. On the ground with the tailback. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. Slings it. He gets hit out of bounds at about the three-yard line. Gain of seven yards. That, that makes, makes it 30 goal. Big play here for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Touchdown, MSU. So 
though. He punches it into the end zone for the second time today. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for one to open, and then he hits it. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Pass right, running back's got it. He's to the 40. And they finally push him out at the 46-yard line. This guy's combination of speed and his hands make him lethal. He can take a game over at any time. From the 46-yard line, first down. complete and he stopped immediately about a seven yard pickup that time on the pass this was a nice little route here by the receiver he took the ball in nicely and got his team a decent game makes it out to about the 30. hit immediately. Scrambling around. He's taken down at about the seven yard line. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. It's up and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. He sends this one deep. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Michigan State holds an eight-point advantage. And he's tackled at about the 35. We played a half of football. The Spartans lead 14 to 6. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this, but when, you're, when your defense is executed at that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. you got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, maybe? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Nice run up the middle. A gain of about four yards on the draw. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, second down, Michigan State up by eight. 
and he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for the game four yards. That'll bring up third and two. That's a six-yard gain on the run for the tailback there. Well, the important thing is they were able to pick up the first down, and they're really starting to show how much they're relying on this halfback to do all of the work, and right now he's looking pretty good. He's got it out to his tight end. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. How about the big fellows up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Once again, they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Tackle at the 41. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. He gets it up. Not a very good attempt there by the kicker. So the score is still 14-6, Michigan State. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Quick to an open man, he dropped it. You can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. From their own 41-yard line, second down. 40's Mike, 40's Mike. <laughs> He's into the open field. He makes his way to about the 28. He's at the 20, makes it out to about the 16. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. down around the 13-yard line. The option keeper gets him two, maybe three yards. That makes it second and eight. Here's an opening. What a play, and that is first and goal. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. Move and he scores. Here we go. They'll try to tie it up right here with a two point conversion. He scrambles. They got it. So that's a seven-play, 60-yard drive, and they've come away with eight points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. 14 apiece. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 26. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. That'll make it very Defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. Certainly they don't have the return on here. It's away and it's a booming punt. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. The Spartans' plan was to run the ball, and they are doing it as well as we've seen it. Yeah, they're running the football. These backs seem to be hitting the holes just at the right time. And how about the offensive line? Just opening up some nice holes, just doing what this offense needs to do to be successful. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. Mike 40, Mike 40. That makes it second and six. the stop at the 30. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. From their own 30-yard line, it's third down. Ready! Red 18! Red 18! Hit as he threw, and he completes it. And down he goes at the 26. So the offense fails to pick up a first down. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. Booming kick. He's to the 40. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Runs right for a nice game. So at the end of the third quarter, we're deadlocked right now at 14. Who's going to win the fourth quarter? Whoever does will win the ball game. Tackle made at the 40. From the 40-yard line, first down. Makes it to the 31. That's good for a game That brings up second and one. Black five, black 
Picked up a first down on that carry. Yeah, a good job up front by the offensive line. They picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage. From the 26 yard line. First down. Got an opening. Inside the 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That's good for me. That makes it first and goal. Two tights, two tights. Four down, four down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're gonna fight the 48 right now. Let's go. Go, go four. Yellow, hit. three. Yellow. And he hits him hard at the one. That's a game of seven on the play. That brings him second and goal. We've got second and goal. Ball on the one. And the goal line defense digging in here. Touchdown, Spartans! Make it a triple dip, folks. Until they can figure out how to slow him down, it's going to be very tough for them to get back into this game. And he converts the extra point. Michigan State, the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He's on the run. He's taken down around the 27-yard line. to the 40. He's at midfield. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. Seven yard line. It's second down. Gets to about the 34 yard line. That's good. Five, 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 five. Three yards. That makes it 37. Less than three minutes in the game. tackled at the 25 yard line. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. He's scrambling, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown.
Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. They didn't snap the ball in time. Delay of game, game. Offense. offense. Just under two to go in the game. And he hits the PAT. A nine play, 74 yard drive. And they put up seven points. 21 21 ball game. Oregon is lining up to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Throws out to the running back, no good. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Smart play, being ready for the pass and swatting it away. That makes it fourth and long. He really got a hold of that one. They'll have some time to run their offense, try to move the ball, and maybe have a chance to score. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Number seven, intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on their own 49. Just over a minute left. Caught, and he's hit immediately. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. Flips it, middle to the running back. Just a tremendous play there late in the fourth quarter in a tie football game. And now it all comes down to the final seconds or overtime. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're late in the fourth quarter. Great game. A tied football game. And the question now is, who's going to rise to the occasion? There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And a quick throw. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. Oh, they really needed that one, and he dropped it. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Steps out of bounds. The 39-yard line. Gaining four yards. That'll bring up 36. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. We have less than a minute to go. Excellent punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. They'll spread the field with five wide. Now he's scrambling. Tackle at the 25.
Now he tries to buy some time. He's to the 40. Diving for extra yardage. Oregon's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Complete. He's got room. He's pushed out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Zips it to the back. Brought down right around the 36-yard line. Oregon's called their final timeout. This is it, guys. He makes this one, and the game's over. If not, we're going to overtime. The kick is away. Yes, he made it, and this one is over. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this sets up the drama here in the fourth quarter. They've got the opportunity they've been looking for, an opportunity to take the lead and the win. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. Incomplete. The Spartans have to look at this somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive. But if there is anything to be positive about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing, but they can build to the future around his abilities for sure. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.